You know, I really get a kick out of the song by the emotions, best of my love, because I've told many, many women to say, baby, honey, corazón, mi vida, you've got the best of my love. So I'm taking you to Dollar General. After that, I'm taking you out to dinner at Jack in the Box. And there you go. And after that, we're going to the Dollar Movies. You're getting the best of my love. What a cheapskate, right? <laughs> right? 8.05 in the morning. Good morning. Live on Facebook right now. Be sure and join me and stop by and say, Hello, Mr. Robert Weavers. Hello. Anyways, good morning, Jada Ganato. And out of the G-Man. How you doing, brother? Yvette Charo. Good morning, Doris. Rocha Flores. Good morning, Doris. How we doing? Anyways, just uh, um, do not forget tomorrow. You know, all kidding aside, I'm very nervous about tomorrow. <laughs> I really am. And I'm going to tell you why. Um, this radio station has been up and running for five years. I've done many, many interviews. I mean, Grammy Award winners, Emmy Award winners, uh, stars that have come out in movies as the boxing champions, of course, uh, artists, musicians, etc. Man, I've, I've interviewed them all. But tomorrow morning, my grandbaby, baby Mia, eight years old, is going to be joining me on my morning show, and I'm nervous. She's a pistol, man. <laughs> really, man. My my grandbaby, Mia, man, she, I mean, very outspoken. She'll say whatever she needs to say, and that's that. I'm nervous about tomorrow. And, uh, well, <laughs> it's going to be interesting. It really is tomorrow morning. Looking forward to it. I'm just a little nervous. I mean, she's very, very unpredictable. Anyways, good morning. Shout out to Michelle Ramirez Williams. Cindy Perditsky, good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, don't, but don't, 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 don't. Let's see what. Let's talk here a little bit. Let's see what's going on. Uh, by the way, uh, just in case you don't know, Krispy Kreme is going to be celebrating the birthday. You know, Kris Krispy Kreme donuts, you know, the donuts. They're going to be celebrating the birthday Friday, uh, Friday all day. So, look, here's the deal. Krispy Kreme is going to be doing a deal celebrating the birthday. If you buy one dozen glazed donuts, you're going to get a second dozen for one dollar. So, you're going to buy one dozen. And then you'll get a second dozen for one dollar. This all happens only on Friday because Krispy Kreme is going to be celebrating their birthday. Woohoo! I really don't care. I don't see the big hoopla about Krispy Kreme. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't see it. I mean, hey man, I'd rather go to a pan dulce place. Give me some pan dulce, pan dulce mexicano. I want some pea cake. Or I'm going to want some, uh, some of those big red cookies or the chocolate cookies or the white cookies. That's the kind of pan dulce I like. Krispy Kreme, eh, not a big deal. Good morning, Chad. I'm going to show the meeting with says, Good morning, Robert. It will be the Mia Morning Show. You know what? You're probably right. You're probably right. My grandbaby's going to take over everything. I'm telling you, man, you, you may think I'm kidding. You'll understand when she joins me tomorrow morning. You're going to understand the, exactly the way my grandbaby is, baby Mia. And she'll tell me, Grandpa, Grandpa. Don't be calling me baby no more, Grandpa. I'm not no baby no more. And I go, okay, okay, me, I, I apologize. Okay, I'm sorry. Really, man, you'll understand tomorrow. Good morning, John. I got up to Lisa Flores. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's see what else is going on. So, look, a happy, happy birthday, Krispy Kreme, Friday morning. Buy a dozen glazed donuts. Get a second dozen glazed donuts for $1. Now, check this out. A man operating a go-kart. Thursday night has been charged with driving under the influence. Nothing like getting in a go-kart while drinking, right? Forget the car, right? Hey, I'm not going to get a DWI. Screw that crap. I'll get in the go-kart. <laughs> gets in a go-kart, gets pulled over by a cop, <laughs> and he gets arrested for driving under the influence. But, sir, I wasn't in a licensed vehicle. I don't care. You're on the road. You're going to jail. And there you go. Back in the day when I was a kid, no lie, I always wanted a go-kart. But I didn't get a go-kart. I got a horse. <laughs> oh no no lie man i told my dad 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 can i get a go-kart can i get a mini bike yeah me go i'll get you i'll get you something to entertain you yeah me me go two days later i found a horse in the backyard i said man i guess my dad wasn't horsing around anyways good morning shout out to irene gayona prima how you doing prima good morning good morning good morning by the way by the way on um on on serious news a serial killer. San Antonio police are looking for a serial killer right now who entered a Dollar General 20 minutes ago. And, uh, well, the serial killer walked in there. He didn't shoot anybody. All he did was shoot boxes of cereal. That's right. All he did was a serial killer. All he did was shoot boxes of cereal. And uh, the, the one box of cereal that he really, really shot up was uh, Frosted Flakes. 
That's right, the rest of Frosted Flakes. He shot up Frosted Flakes and uh, he shot Tony the Tiger and his Lucky Charms. Yes, he did. When uh, 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 Tony the Tiger was being taken out of the EMS, they asked him, How are your Lucky Charms? And Tony the Tiger said, They're great. Nah, not funny. That's not funny whatsoever, Robert! Okay, that's not funny whatsoever. I'll never say that joke again till tomorrow. Now, check this out. Crazy story. Moms are pissed off. Moms are furious right now, and I'm going to tell you why. Target and Walmart have released a new line of clothes for the kiddos, right? Summer wear. And moms and uh, dads and parents all over the world are pissed off saying that Target and Walmart have uh, issued clothes for kids that are hooker. <laughs> hooker style shorts for kids. <laughs> How uh, how do you know what hookers are wearing, man? Really? I'm looking at the picture. They didn't look like hooker shorts to me. But then again, I haven't seen a hooker in a long time. But really, for moms and dads and parents are all pissed off because they're claiming that Target and Walmart have released a new line of clothes that look like uh, shorts, should I say, that look like hookers. <laughs> uh, can, you, can you imagine a three- or four-year-old putting on shorts? Hey, mija! Mia, you're wearing hooker shorts. <laughs> Come on, por favor. They don't look that bad. I'm looking at them right now. They don't look too bad whatsoever. I don't know what they're talking about. Good morning, shout out to Maravilla's very old Joe Gutierrez. How you doing, Joe? Good morning. Anyways, so look, uh, if you go to Walmart or Target, go check out the kids section and you can tell me, man. Send me a message and you tell me if you think the kids shorts look like hooker shorts. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is that my, my grandbaby shows up tomorrow, she's eight years old, and I'm going to tell her, Mija, 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 you weren't hooker shorts, what's your problem? Right, I'll probably piss her off right away. Anyways, good morning, shout out, good out to my primo, Rogelio Rivas, good morning, Marianne Valencia, good morning, good morning, good morning, Wednesday morning it is. You know, um, let me just say this, I've got some Chili's gift cards, all true. Uh, I got some Chili's gift cards that people sent me, and I was going to use one yesterday. I said, you know what, I'll go have dinner at Chili's. I got a gift card. I can go use it, have a couple of beers, and I'll be good to go. But yesterday was a slow day for me on doing the Lyft Uber thing. It was a slow day, and I said, I'm going home, man. So I came home, I laid around, and I got so lazy, I couldn't even get up and go to Chili's, which is about half a mile up the road. I was too lazy, so I said, I'm going to make leftovers. So last night I made leftovers, and I was watching um, um, Shark Week. Have y'all been watching Shark Week on Discovery Channel? It's pretty cool, man, it is. They're showing people getting in the water, trying to feed the shark. Why in the hell, if sharks eat human beings, why would you want to get in the water, go below the ocean, and feed a shark when you know they eat human beings? Why would you want to do that? I'm not going to do that. Good morning, John. I got up to Cindy Snyder. Good morning, Nani Jimenez. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Jose Reyes. Good morning, Diana Gonzalez. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Irene uh, Cuellar. Good morning, Arlene. How we doing? Uh, let me see here. Don't want to miss anybody. There we go. Anyways, um, it is Wednesday morning. Hump day Wednesday it is. Do not forget tomorrow morning, my grandbaby, baby Mia, eight years old, who's not a baby no more, is going to be joining me live in the living color at nine o'clock in the morning. You don't want to miss out on this, man. I'm telling you, man, she will challenge me. She will. I mean, I've, I've interviewed the best of them, but this is the one. This is the one interview that I'm very, very, in, uh, should I say, nervous in. Well, let's keep it going. Let's by Joe Lopez. Get the Issa. 8.13 in the morning. Good morning. Double R Radio. Boom! Let's get back to the morning show. Join me, Robert Rebus Radio.com. Robert Rebus Radio.com. Just click on the blue button. You'll be joining me live. What are they?